All right, we're recording and we are now going to start reviewing. So one of the things that is not necessarily tied to a single chapter, but that you guys need to know are the different IEEE 802 standards and protocols. You have 802.11, which is for what? Uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. You have 802.5, which is for? Token ring. Token ring. Yes. Things like that. Um, yes. 802.3 is Ethernet. Um, another thing is basic troubleshooting. If I have this error, what are the po probable ways to fix it? What would fix it? What wouldn't fix it? So, for example, um, I can connect to the internet, but I cannot connect to a computer um, in the same room. I can't ping a computer in the same room, but I can connect to the internet. Any ideas what that would be? Connecting to the internet via Wi-Fi or a wired connection? Uh, it doesn't matter in this scenario, but we'll say wired. Can I ask which specific IE is and how many? I haven't gone through all those oh, yet. Okay. I've, I'm so still I creating. Write down, like the specific ones you need to know. Uh, yeah, right now I'm going through. So what will happen on tomorrow is I will have a list of questions for you guys and I'll put it on Academy Central and the sub will be here. And what I expect you guys to do is to just go through those. You guys can talk quietly amongst each other. If you have a question, help each other out. But I do want you guys to do these things individually because you guys aren't going to be able to talk. <gasps> Excuse me. You guys aren't going to be able to talk during the final. So, so with that example, what, what were you getting at? Uh, so basically, I should have said more than one computer. It's if half the computers in this classroom can communicate with each other, but they cannot communicate with the other half, but the other half can communicate with each other, what's a probable cause? Is that like multi -line in the middle? Yeah, can, bo can both can have all physical? Things? All physical oh. is working. Oh, okay. They're on a different subnet. We don't have a reference. It was the different subnet. Is what I was going for. So if you have a LAN, right, where half the computers are two different LANs and they can communicate within that LAN but they can't talk to each other, one of the issues it could be, depending on what other information is given, is you have a subnet error. Your subnet mask is incorrect for one of them. Switch, no, because a switch is layer two and Subnet mask and IP addresses are layer three. Yeah. So if they were connected with a router, you'd have no real no issue. But if it's connected with the switch, you'd have to have the same subnet masks. Kelly. It was the second part of that was a rewording of that first question. So you can ignore that first question about connecting to the internet but not be able to connect to another computer. And what was the thing about the switch? So a switch is a layer two device, so it doesn't deal with IP addresses. A router is a layer three device, and that does work with IP addresses, and a subnet mask is needed for anything with an IP address. So if you connect two LANs together with a switch and they have different subnet masks, they won't be able to communicate, but if they're connected with a switch or a, a router, they will be able to communicate. Make sense? All right, so I would just, oh, I don't want to, oh, eh, never mind, I won't erase that. Um, one of the things you guys need to know is network topologies. What is a star, bus, mesh, tree, and a ring topology? That sounds good. Any questions on that? Uh, okay, so was there a topology that was like a bus and that had like trees coming off of it? Was that something else? Yeah, so that was a tree and that was basically a bus with a ring. But that's not used too often. Oh, it was just an example in the book, I believe. Okay. Joey. Oh, no question? <laughs> no, I just want to question. Um, and so far, I only really have um, what to study for chapter one and a smattering of everything else. Because, like I said, I'm going through question by question on the final to make sure that every question on here is noted on the review sheet. So there's not going to be a question about subnetting. Uh, there won't be anything on the final that isn't on the review. Okay. So if, if it doesn't appear on the review, it's not going to be on the final. Well, if it 
there's a question on the Wazam that we're quite sure wasn't the final year you issue. You'd you'd bring it to me and if I said nope, it's right here in this section. So but if it wasn't, if I if I did look it up, all right, if I did miss it and it wasn't on the review sheet, then yes, I would I would I would take it out. Um one of the ones that are probably going to be the harder things to remember are the command line executions because it's not just what does this it's you want it to you want to find out what is going on which one would you use so for example one of the questions is similar to you want to know where the bottleneck is in connecting to the internet do you use ip config ping traceroute or um arp the third which is traceroute yes now, why would you, why would you want to use traceroute on that? So Someone besides Seth. It shows you over your besides Seth. Oh. You can see the route that it's taking and see where the ball is. There you go. Yeah, because what does <clears throat> what does traceroute do? What do I see when it when I type in traceroute yahoo.com? Every little hop it takes. Exactly. The hop count. Yes. The time it Uh, you kind of answered this, kind of, but I know you said you didn't finish the test and that you might add um, some stuff at the end, but is a majority of the test probably going to be multiple choice? Yes. Like this question, for example? Yes. It, most of it's going to be multiple choice. I may put in, uh, I may put in a word bank. I may put in a couple, not essay questions, but, um, short answer so like why is a hub or why is a switch better than a hub right. so oh because a hub does this and a and a and a and a switch will do this so we'll always at least have like the term there like the, the exact term but not necessarily we'll always have the term that we need to use as well like we don't have to say it's there's not going to be anything like what is the thing that does this and then you have to remember what it's called without any I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think so, Joey. Yes. A very specific question. So for the time to live count thing, that like starts at sixty four and then it like counts down, right? So when it says like TTL equals fifty three, that means it's like gone to the level top, right? Because I was always confused. People were saying like, oh, it's usually like ten, twelve to sixteen or whatever, like in the teens range. But then I see on the exam prompt it's like 50s, 60s. Is that in the book? I think so. I just wanted to make sure like it's not hopping around 50 times. Right? No, so the di there's there's a difference between time to live and aging time. Yeah, I meant time to live. Time to live. Um, <coughs> let me look it up. I'm going to stop the video for a second.